Cass here and I thought I would take you through the stash busting kit that I've got for the um, month of May for all the International Scrapbooking Day um, challenges. We chose not to do a challenge or a big thing for International Scrapbooking Day because there was already way too many out there. So instead we're challenging you to create a kit from your stash and bust it as much as possible. Feel free to do a video like I'm doing. Um, or a series of posts to outline how you're going with your kit. And we'll be checking in throughout the month. So first of all, my kit was based around the April crazy kit because I used it to make some layouts, but I didn't stash bust it. And I've got a whole heap of add-ons out of my stash to go with it. So let me show you how I went with that. If I can get it out. So... <laughs> First of all, we've got the papers. Let me get everything else out of the way. So out of the papers, I've got this gorgeous uh, floral pattern paper with the teal blue grid on the background. I've got some paper scraps, which it looks like all of these are paper scraps now. So we've got that one there. We've got some little bits of purple, some of the cutter parts like so. This cut apart here which I chose to fussy cut the um, leaves. That beautiful stripe pattern paper. Some more of that beautiful purple cut apart. And I think that might be it in terms of scraps. I've also got a whole series of tags um, fussy cut out. And I've just put them in the Gem Hadfield ephemera packet. So you can see there a whole heap of tags from the Sim Stories Half and Home tag piece of paper. So no full sheets of paper from this kit. I do have the cardstock sticker. There is quite a few missing from it, so we'll see how much I can stash of how I can stash bust that. So let me pick that one back up. So we've got those. And then building onto that, we've got the Alina tag set. Let me pull these out. I've got quite a few. So quite a few of those Alina tags. Then we have the Good Times by Pink Forest Studio title ephemera. I've got quite a few of those left too. This is all of my ephemera in all of my packets. Um, so there's a mix of Jen Hadfield and Fussy Cut Elements and Pink Forest Studios in here. So you can see all of that ephemera, quite a bit to get through in itself. So let me pick all that back up very quickly because I don't want it to land on the floor because we know that it will. We absolutely know that it will, knowing me. So I'll pick that back up very quickly. All right. And I am in no way expecting to bust this stash. I just want to use some of the elements out of it. And try and use what I can on some layouts. Because I'm not one that reaches for my stash very often. I'm one that tends to scrap in collections. So I thought why not grab the bits and pieces. Then we have those puffy stickers from Hearth and Home. I've used I think one tiny heart. Two tiny hearts from there. We have the cardstock sticker from Pink Fresh Studios. So this one here has been touched a little bit, not too much. We have the titles from Simple Stories, My Story. This side is untouched and this side has just had the word story, I believe, taken out. And then we have the Simple Stories Life Captured chipboard. So it's only had nothing, nothing taken out of that one. So it is untouched. So that is the kit that I am using as my base kit. I've built quite a lot onto it. So first of all, I had the Vicky Burton Kaleidoscope paper, um, paper pad. It is from 2018, so it's quite old. And inside I had two sheets of cardstock left. So this one here, and then the butterflies. Both very usable pieces of paper, so I've decided to throw those in. And then that's that paper pad will be busted. Yeah. 
in a similar fashion. I have the Hardy Swap Color Fresh paper pad that I bought from Spotlight oh, before we started the business. Um, and it is from 2018 as well. And I've selected quite a few papers from here that I think will work. There is quite a few left in there. It started out with 36 sheets, so it is getting getting along quite well. Um, but the papers that I have selected are this stripy pattern paper, which has a piece taken out of it, so we'll see how we can go with that. This stripy pattern paper with a piece taken out of it. This beautiful soft pink. The cut apart. This lime green pattern paper. And I've got a full sheet as well as a half sheet. A beautiful soft pink on pink dot. A road map. And then a really bright and colourful word piece of paper. So there's plenty of paper there. Another pad that I was looking at busting is the Chamel Never Grow Up collection. Now Chamel is not making um, scrapbooking products as far as I can tell anymore. This one is also from, no this one's from 2019 so a little bit newer. I have selected a couple of papers from there and you can see my colour themes. So I've selected that gorgeous apricot pattern, beautiful pink, these butterflies because I plan on fussy cutting them a grid, like a ledger paper, a cartoon wood grain, a dark leaf pattern, and then a beautiful silver star pattern on green. So there's plenty of papers there. Then as if that wasn't enough, I decided to dive into my paper stash. Because again, I don't touch it very much. I'm not planning on stash busting this kit completely. I just wanted to get some stuff out and see if I could use them. So first of all, I have this beautiful tealy blue, very rustic, masculine piece of pattern paper from the Stamperia Clockwise collection. On the back, again, it's a beautiful blue. I have this pattern paper, this pattern paper here from Heidi Swap Artwalk. It's called Full Bloom. It's got that beautiful floral pattern on one side. On the other side, it's got a beautiful um, mixed media pink. Then I've got this marble pink pattern paper, which is from a, um, just a cheapo paper pad. I've got this one here, which is a bluey green aqua color. And it is from the Amy Tangerine Bright and Bold collection, I believe. I have this one here, which is a black and white grid. It's also from a paper pad. I think it might be Amy Tangerine. I've got this one here, which is from that same Stamperia Clockwise collection. You can see the beautiful, beautiful details in that paper. Then I have a Simple Stories Dream Big 4x4 Elements. It's got a beautiful cut apart and on the back it has a rainbow stripe. So it's a very versatile piece of pattern paper. Another cheap paper pad, I just have a black and white, a black, black and grey stripe because you can't go wrong with it. And I have this beautiful red and black and bony coloured stripe pattern paper and my idea was to cut them out and use them as faux washi tape. I have a grey geometric pattern piece of paper and these are really like reject shop pattern papers. Remember when the reject shop used to sell pattern papers? So they're quite thin. This one is the Seven Gypsies Brixton um, from 2009. So that's a really old one. Quite a thin pattern paper. This one is Simple Vintage, so for an market, Simple Vintage Artistry Mango Saffron Notes. It's got that gorgeous hint of orange to it. It's on Simple Vintage Coastal Paradise Found, chosen for the map side, but it's also got this beautiful island side. Then we have a Vicky Burton More Mishes pattern paper for the bread. And last but not least, we have a Photo Nana Market Tranquility Restful Notion pattern paper. So if I grab all this pattern paper, let me, give me out. I have a lot, but I wanted some variety because I didn't want to make the same, um, the same sort of thing over and over and over again. So I have a lot, all of that. So 
we'll see how much I can use. Then, let me just pop that one back. We have some stickers that I've chosen from Stash to go along. Some are titles and some aren't. So we have these beautiful alphas. I don't know what they're called, but we have them. They've got a gold foiling on them. They are stunning. We have the legendary accessory sticker from Coco Vanilla. It's been nicely used, but it can go further. We have a 49er Market Vintage Artistry Hike More Washi Tape stickers. I've only got one side of it. I've used the other side. I thought I might try and get those on a layout. Then we have the Vintage Artistry Naturalist chipboard stickers. There's a couple here. There's not many. And I thought I might try and stash bust those. Then we have the Maggie Holmes Marigold um, sticker sheet. There's 72 stickers and I've only used like a few of those. And to be really honest, I only used them yesterday. <laughs> so this one's been in my stash for quite a while and hasn't been used. Then I have just, I don't even know where these came from. They feel like a thicker um, kind of phrase at thickers. I've got this um, miscellaneous thickers. There's 180 chipboard thickers in here. We have the Let's Play thicker. I like these. They are a, like a burlap. I don't think it's actually Let's Play. I think I put it back in the wrong packet. But I like the burlap thicker. We have the other side of that thicker with some random hearts and arrows and stuff on it. And then we have the unforgettable foam title stickers that's been well loved. That's not it though, guys. I guess I have these sticker books. Does anyone remember these sticker books from Spotlight? So I have the, um, I don't, I don't even know what this one's called. It is an American Crafts one. But it has stickers in it that are just black and neutral. So I thought it was a good one to throw in. Some have gold foiling. It hasn't really been used all too much. So I'm going to try and use that on a couple of pages. I have the Maggie Holmes one. Which has been well loved. I will say. Um, could be loved more. But the pages are starting to fall out. So I want to try and get that one used and out of my stash. And I have the Dear Lizzie one. And Dear Lizzie hasn't been creating for a while. Uh, this one is from, when was it? 2017. So you can see here, it hasn't been as well loved as Maggie Holmes. I think Maggie Holmes is a little bit more usable in my style. But we'll try and get that done as much as possible. Then I also have the Pebbles, I don't know what collection it is, a Lovely Moments collection sticker sheets. So a couple of them are missing, a couple of them have been used. There's just a couple there to throw on. Then, what else have I got here? We have some pre-done, pre-cut cut files that have been lingering in my stash that I thought I might use. So I've got a COVID one. I have a feeling this is from Copa. Um, and not again as well. Then I have a little prince and uh, whatever the weather. And then this one here is just a beautiful arrow. To help me back the cut files and map photos, I have this pink paisley moonstruck um, 6x6 paper pad. And you can see why I've picked it. The colours match that April kick perfectly. Beautiful navies and peaches and stuff. So there that one is. I also have some rub -ons lingering in my stash that I thought I might try and use. From 49er Market, of course. This one here looks like it's from the Avista collection. That one's a Vicky Burton um, ephemera piece that you can see here. I've used a couple of the butterflies, but the rest is pretty unused. And I have a feeling I have a double up, so I've got two of those. We're slowly getting there. I've got a whole heap of fussy cutting that I've got. So I've got some Dickie Burton Fernwood Fussy Cutter Ball Flowers Pre-Cut. I've got a bag of just full of ephemera that's random, as well as a box full of ephemera that's random. So we'll see how much we can stash bust that. 
have some butterflies from a Joan Hadfield specialty paper, some flowers from the Vicky Beaton Storyteller collection, some half and home flowers from Simple Stories, some Echo Park Day in the Life flowers, some butterflies from the Fernwood specialty paper. Then I also have some flowers from a Mag Holmes paper pad. Some Jen Hadfield puffy stickers. There's like five left on there. Six, six left on there. Some little twine and ink stars. Some puffy stickers from the um, These Days collection by Coco Vanilla Studio. Some random little enamel dots. Some legendary enamel dots. Some Daydream flares. Some ephemera from Jen Hadfield. I'm not even sure what collection it is. And then finally I've got three washi tapes that I've picked out. So these two are no-name brand washi tape and this one here I believe is a Vicky Boone washi tape. So there is lots and lots and lots to pick from out of this kit. And again I'm not planning on stash bossing it. I am planning on using it for May I Scrap Lift You uh, for a couple of layouts in the series so you can check out the YouTube video for that and there's probably going to be a couple that I create off YouTube um, but I will put up photos of them and then at the end I will give you a walkthrough of what I've used, how far it's gone, how it's going um, and keep up to date with you guys trying to push you to bust, you, bust your stash as well because we don't want it sitting there, we want it on beautiful layouts to use. So I will see you guys soon and feel free to upload your videos and I'll have a watch and, and see what you guys are going to stash bust. Bye!